Hey guys, it's Mark Graziano here, and today I'm doing something I haven't done in a long time, and that's fishing for stock trout. Looking for some browns, maybe some rainbows, but we're trying something new. My dad and I have been doing this since I was a little kid. We're throwing bait under bobbers, rooster tails, grubs, anything you could think of, and they all work pretty good. And uh, you know, some days something's working better than others, but. Uh, we thought we'd try something we never did before. We came across these Rapala ultralight minnows. They're one and a half inches long. They have a deep rattle to them. And also we tried the Rapala ultralight shad. And they're just a little different profile. They run a little deeper, but they both have great action in the water and they both work really well. They come in a bunch of different colors, but today I'm trying this silver blue ultralight minnow. and. We noticed that there's a lot of emerald shiners in this creek, so these, you know, are kind of looking like an emerald shiner, and it seems to be working good. These ultralight minnows and ultralight shads, they have a really tight action to them, and if you've been throwing bait by a trout or by a bunch of trout for, you know, 20 minutes and they're starting to just move out of the way of it, not even look at it, you might want to tie one of these on and give it a shot because the action to these will trigger more of a reaction type bite and you might get a, a few of those stubborn fish to bite that won't bite on something just drifting downstream. Today I'm using a Code Neon, one of my favorite ultralight rod and reel combos. I got braid on here with about 10 foot of four pound test leader and I'm tying that directly to this Rapala ultralight minnow. Normally fishing with bait under a bobber, you get to see the bobber go under and that can be fun, but this is a lot different. You're working this bait twitching it, working it upstream, downstream. No matter how you throw this thing and work it, it has a good look in the water and you will get bit on it. Oh God. It's a lot more fun catching them when you're reeling in your line and you feel the strike and you, you see the swirl. It's, it's a lot of fun that way. So it's something different to try. So we had a lot of fun today trying something different. We caught quite a few browns on this and proved to myself and my dad that it works. So. It's something that I'm gonna throw in my trout box from now on. It, if there's fish in there, I know they're gonna hit this, so just give it a try. Pick up one of these Rapala ultralight minnows or ultralight shads, head to the creek, and you never know. You might just find that this is your new favorite technique for fishing for stock trout. So I hope this tip helps you catch more fish. Start of the show. On this rod, I have the uh, code knee on here. Oops. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> now there's a little more skill involved with this. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> and uh <laughs> These will These will help you. These will help you get them to shore. <laughs> I could piece together something through all that. <laughs> 